Hello there, this is Nick Prus, one of the developers of the ByChance Level Generation Framework. Today I'm going to walk you through a quick introduction of the framework itself and ByChance for Unity, the Unity layer built on top of the framework, and we're going to see how to generate our very first game level. First of all, the ByChance framework itself provides the possibility of generating an infinite amount of unique levels for both 2D and 3D games. So no matter which, which type of game you want to make, um, you just have to learn the, about the fundamentals of the framework once and can apply this to any kind of game later. It's easy to integrate into games of all game genres, so no matter whether you want to make a roguelike or a role-playing game, strategy game, even a side-scroller, you can, you can do this with, uh, with by chance. And you'll be able to generate complex levels, including all of the game components. So by chance generates the levels themselves, including all enemies and items, doors and matching keys and all of the stuff that you might want to put into your levels. Afterwards, the framework applies a bunch of post-processing algorithms to even polish the levels further for connecting dead ends or removing um, yeah, removing block doors and stuff. So yeah, let's dive right in. Um, by chance for Unity, just adds uh, an additional layer on top of the by chance framework itself, and this layer allows you to work with the framework the way you are already used to work. So you've got all of the native Unity stuff that you are used to, like prefabs. You, there are custom editors, editor handles, and the scene view. There's native undo and redo, um, yeah, so you can work with by chance for Unity the Unity way. First of all, let's, let's, um, yeah, let's take a look at um, what might be the output of one of the level generators. This is a small 2D showcase that um, generates rooms, including some enemies, like this little guy here, or this one, and um, there are obstacles in your way, at least sometimes, like these blocks, and yeah, which block movement, of course. And at some point, there is a small boss that you have to defeat. Not here, maybe in another castle. Here, there you go. And um, after having defeated that boss, there is the next level that will be generated. So um, let's take a look at the project structure first. After having imported the ByChance level generation package, there is going to be well. The first thing you might want to take a look at is the manual, obviously. So the manual includes all of the stuff I'm going to say today, and you can take it as a reference if you want to look something up later. Additionally, there's the the mandatory framework folder, which includes all of the ByChance core scripts as well as all of the unit stuff built on top and there is an editor folder containing all of the custom editor windows for making working with the framework more convenient but more importantly there is the the example folder and um, in this example folder this is the example scene that's actually the the very scene we are looking at right now and there is, um, yeah, the by chance level generation data. We're going to take a look at this uh, in a minute. There are prefabs that are specific to this showcase, like characters and the obstacles you've seen and some projectiles. And all of the scripts that are specific to the showcase you've just seen. And all of the sprites for this showcase. So, um, yeah, let's take a look at uh, how you can generate your very first game level. We just enter a new scene, an empty scene, and yeah, let's get started. By chance, thinks of a game level as uh, as a bounded space, so uh, not nothing more or less. So for by chance, you say you want to g to generate a level that's just about okay, it's a bounded sta space of like width 800 and height 600 and we want to fill this space with game elements. And to do this, we are going to define some kind of chunk. Chunks are the by chance term for level generation building blocks. 
And each of these chunks contains information about its extents, like width and height, its position in the level and its rotation, as well as um, about where to align it to the existing level. So you can think of the level generation algorithm as um, as the idea of connecting new level building blocks to existing ones. Um, yeah, we we'll take a look at this uh, in a minute. And afterwards, we can add game elements like enemies, items, and stuff. So the first thing we need to do is to set up a new chunk library. This is basically the library that the level generator will use for creating your game level. And to do this, you just have to, uh, to click Window by Chance Framework and create chunk library. And a new chunk library um, will be created and put in your assets folder. And obviously right now it's empty. So um, yeah, let's add a new chunk template to it. Let me just take a look at um, what we, yeah. We will take a look at a, at a small, yeah, at our small 2D showcase. So let me just look it up and find one of our sprites, like um, like one of our rooms, maybe this one. There you go. And if you want to make this room a level generation building block, you just have to one uh, to do one single thing, and this is opening the by chance framework menu and click create chunk template. So this basically doesn't do anything specific besides adding the by chance chunk template script and computing its extents. So the script does check the renderer and all renderers below this game object and automatically compute the size of this level generation building block. Um, yeah, this one can can now be used to generate levels, but we need a little a little more. We've just been talking about the contexts. These are um, the the very points where um, where this level building block can be attached to existing level building blocks, and these contexts can be added manually, but there are some convenience buttons as well. So if you want to add um, context and the side, which is the, the most common use case, you can just click these buttons like add left context or add right context, and you'll see um, these white spheres indicating that there are contexts at these sides. Obviously, there's just a door at the bottom, so let me remove these ones again and uh, add a bottom context right here. Okay. Um, yeah, okay, that's already great. And um, now that uh, that we have created our, our very first building block, all we need to do is um, to to make a prefab out of this um, out of this small room and add it to our to our chunk library. So let me just create a new folder called demo and make a prefab out of this chunk. And now we can move our chunk library there as well. So we've got everything in place. And um, all we need to do now, and right now is to drag the, the prefab into our chunk library and we are done. This is our very first chunk library for creating game levels. Actually, if you want, if you would use only this block for creating levels, that would be you know, pretty interesting because there's just one context and there's nothing that can be connected to this one. So even if it doesn't make sense for this particular sprite, let's just assume that there is another one at um, at the top left and right here. Hit apply and. Um, Okay, now we've got everything in place for, for firing up our first level generator. To do this, we're, we're going to use the very same scene, just remove this one and create a new level generator by clicking Window by Chance Framework and Create Level Generator. And all of, all of this level generator needs to know is about the chunk library. We can just drag our chunk library into the chunk library property field of this level generator. Say, okay, we want you to generate a new level every time we start the game. And obviously it needs to know about the level extents. That's the thing we just have been talking about. 
and let's take a look at our our little chunk template. It has um, x and y of 15 and 8. So let's just say we are going to make a level that is like 50 times 50. And because we make 2D levels, we just set the z coordinate to exactly the same size of our of our templates in 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 z direction. And yeah, basically we're done. So we can just save the scene. And then we can start and take a look at the result. So what the level generation framework did right now is it start at some random point in our scene and picked one of our available chunk templates. Obviously there is only one available chunk template and placed it somewhere in the level. And um, after that, it considered all of the four possible contexts. Remember, we added four contexts for adding additional level generation building blocks and expanded the level around this initial chunk by adding new um, yeah, new chunks to the left and to the top and to the right and again to the top, for instance, and continued to do, to do so until the whole level space was, was filled with our level generation chunks. So um, yeah, because this level looks pretty dull, let's just add a few more, um, a few more level building blocks. So we have a little more interesting levels. I'm just gonna stop the scene again and add a few more of our example sprites here. Let's say room one, room two, room three, and. Um, Actually, you can make one of the rooms a chunk template by pressing Control Shift T, and let's just say there's top and left context for this one, and we're going to add this one to our list of prefabs as well. Here we obviously want to have top, left, and right, and going to make a prefab all of this one as well. And here we just need Control Shift T, top left. Make another prefab out of this one as well. Let's just take a look at our very first one and remove the ones that are at the wrong side. Just add a bottom context here. Hit apply. And last thing we need to do is to update our chunk library. We want to have four here drag the other ones in there as well. Hit save and start the level generation again. So right now there are only two rooms because it seems to have started with this one at a very unlucky position. It added a new one here. So basically you can imagine here's the border of the level. This is a very small level. Let's try this again. Maybe we are more lucky this time. This looks a little, a little more interesting. And let's try it a third time. And there you go. So, congratulations. We've just created our very first game level. And um, next week we're going to talk about the more advanced aspects of generating levels. Uh, as you might have seen already, you can do stuff like logging the level generation. You can um, specify which chunks to ally to, to which other chunks to restrict the alignment and to improve the level, the overall level quality. And um, yeah, we've been talking about how to fill these levels with game objects like enemies or projectiles and um, items. So um, yeah, thank you for watching and see you next week.